What is going on, people? We're back with another machining video. Cody, what do we have to work on here? A rod. All right, we got a piston rod or cylinder rod off of a case dozer, and the end of this eye is just completely wore out. So it it goes. It's got a pin that goes through it. Got a pin that goes through it, obviously. Then it's got this like ball socket bearing thing and apparently the old one was wore out and it it just well you can see this is the original size bearing and it's it's bad it's bad okay so the way this is held in is with two snap rings and you can just barely see the snap ring grooves still in it so this thing is egg shaped this way so the plan is to machine this out or board out with our cheap boring head and we're going to insert this chunk of steel in there weld it <clears throat> we're going to weld it to it and then this will be the new insert for this bearing to stick in so it's inside that thing going to have to be any machine yes it's going to have to be machined a good bit it's it looks like so that is the plan as long as we can uh, execute on that plan, it's going to be really nice. So me and Cody, we're just working out here in the shop. We're going to do some machining. Let me let me introduce you to our machine because I don't know if it's really been seen. Cody, has it? I don't know. We have a 1987 Inco mill. And this thing, it's definitely old and used. But we got it for a really good price, I think. I mean, the thing still works. It works real good. It's just, I would say it's got some wear on it. it it's, it's been used for sure. And it's a three-phase, and we don't have three-phase electricity in the shop. So we got us a North America phase converter. Super nice. Uh, got the motor mounted up there. But it's super nice, super easy to hook up. Um, I wish it was super cheap, but it wasn't. Well, you just mash that button, and well, you gotta plug it up first. Somebody's got the welder hooked up. You just mash that button. She comes on. We got three phase power, and the mill is ready to fire up. But uh, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this rod set up. We're gonna get it set up flat and everything and start boring it out. All right, people, I believe, I I, I think I know, figured out how to work this thing and uh, I believe I got it centered. So we're gonna throw the boring head on there and see what it looks like. What you did right there, Gail, was kinda cool, honestly. <laughs> so this thing goes forward and then this lever gets pulled this away yep we're in low range just like that so when you put these things in low range you actually have to use your reverse directions to make it spin forward wait this thing has to spin reverse never mind this boring head spins reverse power on base converter put this thing in low oh no you're right, right. All right, um, now let's engage quill feed. Uh oh.
All right, people. We got the first cut. Um, it cut more on this side than that side, which is probably because I didn't have it perfectly centered. Because he did not. Because it. I suck. But anyway, um, we're going to keep cutting and get them new inserts slid in there. I'm mean, just going to work anyway if it's not 100% accurate. But we're learning, okay? And Lane's not out here to help me, which makes it more difficult. We got the rod board out. We didn't show all of it because it took a lot of passes. We broke, had to flip the insert around several times, but we've got it to where we like it. Got a pretty nice surface in there. That hole, that grease hole is what really messed us up. That's where it was starting to make the cut rough. So next step is to get our sleeve Next step is to get our sleeve ready. So we got our sleeve in the lathe. We're gonna face it off. We're gonna face off, no, we won't face off the other side. We're gonna face off one side, flip it around, chuck it up. We're gonna get our inner dimensions right. We gotta turn our outer dimensions down a little bit, and then we'll cut it to length and weld it up. We have the ID turned down perfect for the ball socket, but we've got that turned down to exact size. It's going to have to have just a tiny bit of persuasion, but that should just knock right in there. So next is going to be doing the OD.
Well, we've got this piece finally machined best we could. Broke who broke three crap. three I, cut off inserts. I sped it up and it seemed like it didn't want to break it as easily, but I don't know. We're not the we're not don't learn anything from us. Learn what not to do when it comes to machining. But and got, teach us. We've Tell got us our to. sleeve machined with our snapping grooves already in it. And um, next we got to get this pressed into the actual eye of the cylinder. We've got to go ahead and get it pressed in here. And uh, weld it up. Weld it up around the top and around the bottom. I beveled it some with a grinder, but most of our bevels on the sleeve. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna probably gonna have to hit the inside of this with a flappy uh, sandpaper thing, and then uh, stick our ball joint in there and put the snap rings in, and we're done. So far. Well, it wasn't a tight fit before, but it's a tight fit now. I wonder why. We've got our our sleeve welded in, and I'm going to go ahead and drill our grease hole through it. That way, it'll still be greasable. The hole does I think so. Hey. Oh, 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 there we go. Well, we already screwed up with our machining, so that would be the better reason not to see right. anyone. There's one snap ring in place. Hey, that thing fit good. It did fit good. Let's take it to the anvil. I don't think we're going to need the anvil, but okay. It better take the anvil. Well, that's hot and this is cold, so maybe it'll fall right in there. It may fall right in there anyway due to bad machining. No, no it'll take a little bit of persuasion but i think it's gonna go go almost on the weather gonna be up. is that gonna be like a perfect friction fit oh right there and the snap ring groove looks like it lines up like you hit the you hit the snap ring I heard it. Just making sure. I don't care. I can't believe it looks like you've accomplished this. Mark, we need this. the fireball tool dragon wagon. Is that what that new table is called? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's like the grinder would be faster. It's not a flat surface anyway. There we go. We're in the snap ring groove. Snap ring is in. We've done it, people. We've yeah. done it. Yeah. I'd say it well, turned out pretty decent wow, that, for a yeah. couple of amateurs. Yeah, or for a pair of amateurs. Cody is the only amateur. We just need to learn how to use them cutoff tools. 
Sweet. All right, now we're just gonna grind the faces clean um, and put the new seals on it. See, as you can see, that's, that's ground hot, clean. By the way. It's actually not. No, it is still warm. <clears throat> Tighten your up. Oh, All right, I just used some Rotella to lube it up. Shove that on. And this piece. Just like that. What size is that? It is an inch and a half. Cody, and you have to jump around on the floor or act like a bird. He's going to throw crumbs to you. <laughs> Righto, guys. We got this cylinder eye fixed up. And uh, time to return it to the customer. Here you go, customer. <laughs> I was the last cylinder person that y'all gave yeah. it. This yeah. is not actually our customer. But anyways, we got the cylinder eye fixed up. Looking beautiful. Um, he'll probably end up bringing us the other one back because it's probably looks the same as this one. What's the other cylinder do? What's this one? Is this this one? is the one that tilts the dozer blade left and right. This is like the driver's angles side. it left no. and right. Yeah. This way? Like this. No. No. Other way. This angles way. Angles the blade like this. Okay. So, anyways, that's this. Don't take any advice from us when it comes to machining other than don't take advice from us for machining. We're just learning I as we go. It. This is project number three or four like actual projects so anyways if y'all enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time Cody <laughs> look how small that arm is <laughs> that's my left arm Where yeah, was that's it? a small arm Mark Mark I, I hope my it. arm looks bigger than that I done it does my arm look bigger than that? Y'all have to get side by side and compare. <laughs> Don't drop it. Just compare sizes. <laughs> Could video it and leave an answer in the comments. Does it look as small as yours did? Uh, looks pretty small. Uh, yeah. Here, let me try that again. I ain't get from this bigger. angle right here. Yes. Roll the sleeve yeah, up. Roll that sleeve. <laughs> we'll see which we'll one's see bigger. We'll see that white shoulder. <laughs> Yeah, mine was definitely bigger. It had to have been. Had to have been. Probably. Let us know down in the comments whose arms are bigger. <laughs>